Hello and welcome to the short tutorial videos introducing the new features of Fire Apps. This video explains the improved detector test workflow in Fire Connect. To see the device list, first select the Devices tab. You can choose the view that matches your activity. If you want to perform a detector test or visual check, start a test session. If you just need to navigate the tree and command the panel, you don't need to start a test session. The test session lets you view function test or visual check results. Under function test, you can choose between manual test and disturbance-free test, DFT. If both test types are selected, the latest result appears. You can set the date range and device types in the filter settings. To hear announcements about the device being tested, keep the text-to-speech toggle activated. The details of the last tested device will open automatically if the Show Details of Recently Tested Device toggle is activated. Additional filters are available in the Filter menu next to the Search field. Make sure notifications for the categories Alarm, Pre-Alarm, Activation, and Information are enabled in the Notifications menu. These settings can be changed at any time during the test by clicking the three dots menu in the upper right corner of the screen. Now you're ready to test the device. When you test a device manually, its recent test details appear automatically, and the visual check status is set to OK if the result is passed. You can add a comment from the predefined list, or enter it manually. You can also change the visual check status manually. A comment icon will then appear in the tree view. When you have finished testing, end the session by clicking the corresponding button. Make sure all detectors are switched on, and any issues you found are resolved before leaving the site. This was our video on the improved detector test workflow. Make sure to also check out our other tutorial videos introducing the new features of Fire Apps.